टूडे लेक्चर इज न्यूरो एंडोक्रेनोलॉजी न्यूरो एंडोक्रेनोलॉजी When the multicellular organisms were developed, the two main system were evolved. One is called endocrine system. Endocrine system. And second is nervous system. In my previous lecture, I have told you about endocrine system. Endocrine system is the system of glands. and its specific secretion which is called hormones hormones are released directly into the blood stream and from there they are transported to other part of the body to exert their function where is the nervous system is the system of nerves and the secretory cell which is called neurons it is the system of nerves and neurons which transmits signals from one neuron transmit signals from one neuron to other neuron from one neuron to other neuron and from neuron to other part of the body with the help of neurotransmitters neurotransmitters are the chemical messengers of the nervous system nervous system can be divided into two components one is called central nervous system and second is called peripheral nervous system central nervous system is composed of brain and spinal cord brain it is rough sketch of brain and spinal cord this is called spinal cord central nervous system Where is the peripheral nervous system? Is composed of sensory and sensory neurons, which are called ganglia, and these are the nerves that branches off from the spinal cord, branches off from the spinal cord, and then expand it to other part of the body. Peripheral nervous system. These are called ganglia. Ganglia are the cluster neurons. They are present in the form of cluster. then the interaction between endocrine system and the nervous system is called neuroendocrinology interaction between nervous system and the endocrine system is called neuro endocrinology neuroendocrinology is this branch of biology which in which the nervous system and endocrine system acts together by the process which is called neuroendocrine integration process is called neuro endocrine integration in this process the neuronal input cause the neuroendocrine cells in the process of neuroendocrine interaction integration neuronal input causes the neuroendocrine cells neuro endocrine cells or neurotransmitters or neurotransmitters to causes the release of hormones this is the process of neuroendocrine interaction in which the nervous system and endocrine system interact with each other to uh, for the release of hormones and the neuroendocrinology is the way in which the hypothalamus control the secretion of posterior pituitary and the hypothalamus maintain homeostasis by the help of neuroendocrine system hypothalamus maintain homeostasis when the hypothalamus hypothalamus sense a 
decrease in the production of T3 and T4. Decrease in production of T3 and T4. Which are the hormones of thyroid gland? These are hormones of thyroid gland. T3 is triiodothyronine and T4 is thyroxin. In this case, the stimulus is decreased in the production of T3 and T4. When the hypothalamus sends this stimulus, it stimulates the thyroid tropin releasing hormone. Thyrotropin releasing hormone. The thyrotropin releasing hormone act on anterior pituitary. This is anterior pituitary. Anterior pituitary and this is posterior. Posterior pituitary. The thyrotropin releasing hormone act on anterior pituitary to stimulate thyrotropin stimulating hormone. The thyrotropin stimulating hormone then act on thyroid gland. This is thyroid gland. Thyroid gland. The thyrotropin stimulating hormone act upon the thyroid gland to stimulate the production of T3 and T4. It stimulates the production of T3 and T4 until the amount of T3 and T4 uh, arises in the blood and it maintains metabolism, growth and development. Then the thyroid gland gives neg negative feedback to the anterior pituitary and to the hypothalamus. Negative feedback. In negative feedback, it controls the production of thyrotropin releasing hormone and thyrotropin stimulating hormone. This all process is known as neuroendocrine system. Neuroendocrine system which is the interaction between the neural nervous system and the endocrine system. In this process, the stimulus is decreased in production of T3 and T4. When the hypothalamus sends the stimulus, it stimulates the production of thyrotropin releasing hormone. Thyrotropin releasing hormone act on interior pituitary to stimulate the production of thyrotropin stimulating hormone. Thyrotropin stimulating hormone act on adrenal gland, act on thyroid gland. To stimulate the production of T3 and T4. And T3 and T4 until the amount of T3 and T4 rises in the blood and it maintains the body metabolism, growth and development. And in return the thyroid gland gives neg negative feedback to the anterior pituitary and to the hypothalamus. And it controls the production of thyrotropin releasing hormone and thyrotropin stimulating hormone. In my next lecture, I will tell you about neurotransmitters. Do not forget to subscribe my channel for latest and more relevant videos.